Hi, my name is George Garcia. I'm a product support specialist with Autodesk Eagle. And in this video, we want to show you some of the new features that have been implemented in the latest release of Eagle. Specifically, we want to show you the new selection filter and object inspector. So let's start with the selection filter so we can see how it works. If you notice, by default, all types are selected and all the layers are selected. And what the selection filter does is it allows you to make very specific groups without having to do very specific outlines for the group selection or polygon selections. So for example, right now we have everything selected. So if I go ahead and form a big group, we'll see that all those items are selected. But let's say that I'm only interested in getting devices. Okay, then again I'll form that large swath. But what you'll notice is that only devices are selected. No traces are selected. Only devices within that group were, were made part of the selection. Now, if you notice over here, you can also further specify your selection based on what layers are active. So let's say I only want devices that are on the top layer. Okay, so now I go ahead, I form that huge group again. And look what happens. Only the top layer devices are selected within my group area. So it makes it really easy to form specific groups. It also minimizes com selection ambiguities. So it makes it really easy to make sure that you're grabbing exactly what you want. You'll notice that you can use your layer presets to control the selection. So you can see here, only components on bottom, only components on top, standard selection, or all. Okay? So that's how the selection filter works. Now what does the object inspector do? So the object inspector is designed to make group operations really simple. It also allows you to edit common properties. So one thing you're going to notice, I'm going to go ahead and make the selection filter a little bit easier by tabbing it. We can do that with the design manager as well. So if you really want to save your screen real estate, you can just make it a tab. So the selection filter, again, I have my device selection, which is all I'm interested in. And I want all the layers active. So let's say I'm going to form a group consisting of just these resistors over here. Okay. I select the resistors. Now you'll notice that we have several different options available with these resistors. Okay. We have the common properties, so you notice they all have their same Y location in common, which is true, that's editable. Their angle, their value, so I can make them all 100K resistors right now if I wanted to. Okay, I hit enter, and now you'll see they're all 100K resistors. Now, one thing that's important to note here is the selected objects list is just a list letting you know of what's in the selection. You can't really modify things from here. Okay, so you can't double click and change something. It's just letting you know what items are in your selection. Okay, if I hit locked, they all become locked. If I unlock them, they all become unlocked. Okay. Now, attributes is interesting. Attributes will show you any existing attributes that they have in common. And it will also allow you to create new attributes that will be common to all of them. So, for example, I could do MPN and say, you know, a Yagio, let's say, 10102. I hit enter. Or sorry, I hit the plus sign. And you'll see that now they all have that attribute. So it can really simplify assigning attributes to large amounts of components. The other thing that's really interesting with Inspector are these quick actions here. For example, you can delete everything I selected you can do a replace. So for example, if you notice these are all 0402 resistors. Let me bring up the list again. Okay, we can see what packages they are. They're all 0402s. If I click replace, then we can go ahead and pick the new type of resistor that we want to use. Let's say in the RCL library, I want to make them 0603s, make them bigger. Right, 
We'll say OK. And they've been swapped out. And obviously they're a lot bigger. But you can see that you can do that to a group. So this is possibly now going to be the best way to change all the packages of large groups of resistors. You know, these types of last minute design changes that need to be done. That can all be handled here using the quick actions. So that's really the, the main functionality of the inspector. It's really to be able to do group operations and to modify common attributes. Now, when coupled with the design manager, you can do some very powerful things. Because the design manager can be used to make a very specific group. And then you can use the object inspector to make changes to that group. So for example, let's go to devices. I can do an R. Let's say R1 through R6, R7. You notice that that selection is now here. And if I wanted to make all of those resistors the same value, I just type it in. 10K. And there we go. And obviously, I can do the same thing with the replace command. So very, very powerful new tools. We know they're going to save you a lot of time. Thank you very much for watching this video, and have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.